What's up everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Witcher 2. And last time we went into this tower here with Cynthia and Co. And dare I say, we kind of teamed up and successfully did make it through. And in doing so, found Darehenna's laboratory and got a whole bunch of loot. Got some information about Saskia and Sheila. Seemed as though Sheila is a little more, uh, well... I don't know if you want to say this is a surprise or not, but Sheila was actually, you know, a little more adversarial than she was at least leading us to believe. And, uh, we did, of course, also have, um, Cynthia, you know, trying to hit on us when we got out. But anyways, there is another door in here, because if I remember correctly, we went down, and the place where we saw Cynthia was through here. There's another one up here. And I don't really know what to make of this. This seems like it might be the last major, well, I don't know how major, but remaining thing before we take on the dragon. So if we're looking to get any more powerful gear or just level up and get some experience, then I would think that, assuming there is something behind this door, this might be the way in which to do that. So let's prepare accordingly. And, you know, just like drop this and give this a shot. Crystal? Eh? Okay. Okay. Um, there's this one. There's this one. There's this one. And there's this one. Oh! Girl, mortally wounds for 63 damage. Uh, I feel like... Ow. That crystal is very much not dead, despite it saying that we have mortally wounded it. And can't help but notice that we have taken some damage there. It's probably a good thing we had the Ard sign on, or rather, uh, Gwen sign on for the shield. Because, uh, if not for that, I feel like I might have actually killed it. So, if we're not supposed to swing a sword at it, it is definitely showing up as if it's a, an enemy target. So what if we hit it with, like... Not actually coin. This time I do mean R. We do that. Oh! That looks pretty convincing. Um. Sure. Oh. Okay, that, that undid that. What about this one? Okay, that one does it. This one still does it. What about this one? So they all go away. Okay, so what if we do this? This. So we have two. And then can we hit these with something else? I would say maybe a sword swing, but apparently that is not the way to go. So uh, what if we do like... Uh, I mean, mind control probably wouldn't work. The shield presumably wouldn't work. So I think the Gurdon also, I doubt it. So I think Aikney is probably the way to get... Okay, that appears to be glowing as well. So uh, let's maybe give this one a shot as well. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, then. I see how it is. Um, Is this... Also technically part of Darehenna's laboratory, because again, this is like kinda sorta in the same area. Throw the shield back on just in case. Give me any things in here. Or just be warms for good measure. Hello? Hello? Okay, we just walk through this one. There's no puzzle involved. Oh, that looks notable. Something tells me this room is way too large and open for there not to be enemies here, right? But I'll take those rags, because now we're rich. That was a little ominous. As is that skeleton. I think we have tried looking at that type of loot before, the Nilfgaardian leather Galagus 
Galgaskins? Galgaskins? Uh, yeah, but not very good. Not as good as what we're currently using. Is this actually a door? Not at the moment, but I would have to think that something we do here might be able to open that up, because it does appear as though it has the outline of a door. So, uh, if we walk up to this... Is that like a kobold or something? I'd imagine stuff is gonna happen. Um. Uh. Yep, yeah, it's, uh, it's glowing a bit. Medallion's telling me something. Oh! Sword. Don't mind if I do. But now is everyone gonna come up and try to punish me for having taken that? Probably. What the heck is that? Someone who's not happy to see us. A guard, okay. How tough is this guy? I, this looks like a human? Maybe? Kinda, sorta? So, do we go with the steel weapon? No. Stop, stop, stop with this teleport nonsense. Excuse me, sir. Please stop that. Ow. Oh, that absolutely did not get us. Enough of that nonsense. Okay, uh, there is fire. Oh, uh, that sounded, yup, like, like these guys. They actually hurt a lot more than you did. Is that fire getting bigger? No, hopefully. Whoa, that doesn't look good. Hopefully that fire just stays there. Don't stand in that circle of death, because I assume that's what that is. It does sound like it just exploded over there. And we actually should be using, um, silver weapons against the wraiths. So they will do way more damage. And don't stand there, either. Okay, now let's switch back and also continue- ow! To make sure we're not standing in that circle. Oh, for a second, I thought we killed it with the <laughs> the sign exploding there. Um, excuse me. There we go. All right, guardian dude, are you coming back now? Because that would be kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. Did take probably more damage than we ought to have taken in that previous phase. Um, it is a little odd, not gonna lie, when you choose to teleport, and then you don't really go anywhere. Also, not a huge fan when you have the shield on and we can't do anything to you. So, like, if you could stop that, even when we knock you down, that'd be very helpful. You are very good at making sure that that actually tracks us. Okay, so now we dodge out of the way. Wait for this thing to go down, because you really do not seem to want to... Oh, let the shield go down. Except right now. Now you're going to do that. I feel like we actually need to use a potion right now to heal up, but that's probably not going to be an option. So, put this back on. Wait, did you just taunt us? Excuse me, sir. I will have none of that. Can you do that? Then we... Get out of the way while you are shielded. And basically just wait for that shield to disappear because, uh, there it is. Maybe that's a better way to go. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, can we? Oh, nope. Can't use the finishing move on him, unfortunately. That would have been very convenient. None of that. None of that. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. It seems like we can get four hits in, I think, before he tends to put the shield back on. We'll save the finishing move for, I'm assuming, when he resummons all those wraiths. I'm guessing we didn't have just one wave. Of oh, are we? We're using the, uh... No, we are using the steel sword. I was gonna say, for a second there, I thought we were using the silver again, and that we were making ourselves deal less damage unnecessarily. 
just has a ton of HP. Okay, we did just lose our Quen from a duration standpoint, not because we took damage, so I'm just gonna wait for us to get our Vigor back, then I'll do it. So that we're not hard-pressed on that front. None of that. None of that. So it seems like we just play patiently here, but this guy has a load of HP, as you can see here. Still not dealing that much damage. Look how slowly his HP bar is going down. But it, it does seem to be working. So I'm hesitant to change up the formula here, because I guess there's... Oh, uh-oh. Other than how he is still occasionally sneaking in those fireballs so that we should be paying closer attention to making sure that we don't get hit by them. It does seem as though, with enough time, we could succeed here. Just, uh, you know, takes a little patience is all. Oh, that one, I don't think we got in quite as many hits. He's just chilling. Yep. Originally, we were getting four hits in before he shielded back up. That time, we only got two. Not the previous time, we got three. Okay, he's not healing, is he? Does he have any life regeneration? Because if he does, then we're in trouble. Given how slowly we are dealing damage, he would presumably be able to regen more quickly than we deal the damage, but I don't think he's regening. It's just minuscule, the amount of damage we're doing. Which does make me wonder, you know, are there alternative ways to deal the damage. Are we- we were using the wrong sword. What did I say? Okay, so that should be one of the answers in that case. Oh, that did still hit us. I think it's actually when he swings his sword at us that it's- Okay, there we go. Now we're on to the next phase with the monsters, I would assume. Which means that I will wait them to show up, and then I will use the group finisher. That to go off. If I want you all to be in the same area, this is gonna blow up on us, isn't it? Oh, did that really only get one of them? Maybe two? No, just one. So that was quite unfortunate, but I think we have at the very least learned from our mistakes now that, uh, we were, in fact, using the wrong weapon. We don't have very much room for error here. From a life standpoint. So that is unfortunate. Now, if we were to give this another shot here, we probably could do much better, given that we have now established that we made mistakes and... As I suspected before, it seemed as though that might have been the case, but, uh, didn't confirm until a little late. Oh, don't stand there. I was about to say, let's try to sneak in a little more damage, but not that time. <laughs> I assume that we had... <laughs> bigger to turn on our shield. We did not, and we very nearly got hit for a killing blow. Okay. Should be the last of those guys, which means we want this back up, and we want to switch back to this weapon, which should, again, that might have been the reason why I thought we were doing it before. It's because... Geralt insisted on continuing to hold the silver weapon, even when I told him to swap to the steel. And if there's any question as to whether this guy is a, a human enemy or a demon enemy, I think that pretty much confirms it, based on just how much more damage we're dealing when we are using the steel. Really? All the way to the next monster phase already? Well, uh, things go much more quickly for certain, when we're actually using the correct weapon. I think there are four enemies now, whereas previously there were only three. It does 
make things a little bit trickier. Are we using the right weapon as well? I, we may not swap the... Swap that. We want this one. This is bad. This is very bad. We are in a bad place right now. We cannot get hit. Hey, please move. Okay. At least now we theoretically have a little bit of time to do some kind of damage. Or not. We're in trouble here. We have some space. Get this up. Oh, we had less space than I realized. I really wish that dealt damage to you guys. That would be very convenient. Really just want to get rid of at least one of them. Make it easier to maneuver around here without getting wailed on. Seems like we can more or less only hit these guys for quick attacks. Otherwise we will uh, otherwise they'll dodge. I do see we have when down. You are low. There we go. Let this go off. Please go off right now. Anyone else is low-ish? Uh-oh. We did we lose it. We might have lost it. We did. Get back on. Need to get back on again. We have the highest amount, so we are splitting our damage a bit here, but... Ooh, that was closer than it should have been. Do you still have it up? Appears as though it's only you left. Come on. There we go. Okay, we do still have it up for this guy as well, on the assumption that he is coming down. Swap weapons. Again with the taunt. That's new! What is the deal with that? I do not like it. Although he is seemingly one hit away. No, 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 and no. What? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? He had no HP left, we needed to tap him! And he kills us. Okay, well, mistakes were made. We should be able to do this fight much more quickly now that we know how we are supposed to do it. We weren't doing that badly other than just using the wrong weapon for a very long period of time. Where exactly does this save bring us? I don't remember. Oh, all the way back here! Okay, well, I mean, I suppose we know what we're supposed to do now. So this shouldn't be too bad, but that does feel like we certainly erred in our ways. My hope would be, now that we know what to do here, assuming that this is just jump in. Okay, and this was hard, I think. Yep. I think this one was Igni. Yep. This one was Igni. And then this is hard. Okay, then the door opens. All right, it is so much simpler if we just use the correct weapon. It will be significantly easier. We won't get all the damage dealt to us at the beginning of the fight that made things significantly tougher because we will actually have margin to work with. Margin for error, that is, this time around. So we do this, go through here. Guardian is not going to show up until we activate or take the sword rather oh and i didn't even look if the sword is any good it probably is so we could have been using it in that fight potentially but uh let's save here just in case watch the sword be horrendous and all this is just for naught but i'm assuming that it's good so let's do this 
let's anticipate that I believe we will be fighting the uh, Guardian first, if I remember correctly. So we'll pull that sword out. Then anticipate that this guy is going to come out and he's going to try to hit us. And we're going to turn around and we're going to fight him. And we've already come off to a better start than we did last time. The most significant will be avoiding the damage that he deals. So we can get to the first adds phase without him clobbering us. Excuse me. And that would be preferable. He was never on this upper level before. He does have the higher ground, which I, I do think means we are a little bit uh, in bad shape. Okay. But now we have the adds. So let's make this happen. I think we've also established, if we hadn't already, that using the quick attack is the way to go against these raids. And I think it is almost certain to me at this point that first adds phase, there are two raids, then there are three, then there are four, and I think that's it. We almost got hit by that. Was that the last of those? It seemed like it was. Okay, we do still have Quen on. Oh. Where'd you go? I don't want you to go up the upper level. Really? Disapproved of that. Well, you, you did just that. Oh, he can go into the fire! <laughs> Is he actually taking damage right now? I can't tell. Oh man. It seems like it, because apparently that was enough for him to go to the next phase. Okay, uh, sure. I I guess that works. Take that. Can't say it was uh something that I deliberately planned to do, but hey, it worked out, so. After what happened last time where we very narrowly did not succeed, and we very narrowly did not get blasted there. Seems like, you know, maybe we deserve a little bit of a break there. Maybe. Uh, let's not stand in that circle. I don't think we have actually gotten hit by one of those yet, but I can only assume that it is quite painful. Might even go through our Quen sign, even if we have one up. There are a few things that have done that in the past. What are you down? That should make it a little easier to maneuver here. Alright, it's one of those. Yep, the circle's gonna come down. You still have a lot of HP left. And you hit us! I think that's the first damage we've taken. But still, doing very well. From a life standpoint. Certainly relative to the first go round. Excuse me. I was swinging my sword, thank you very much. There we go. Okay, now we anticipate that our good old friend, the Guardian, is going to come back. We do still have our shield up. Okay, now he may go straight into his next adds phase, but soon he's going to start adding more magical skills to his repertoire. I think that is right now. Yeah, I think this is the last adds phase. Yep, so this will be the four. Ooh, let's maybe not stay there. <laughs> Did we just bat that wraith into the side? Come Seemed on. like it. Okay, again, let's not stand there. Do the finishing move. If we could get in the middle of everyone, that'd be nice. Assuming this doesn't blow up on us, which it may have technically blown up on us. At the very least, we did get hit in some way, shape, or form. I 
didn't actually see how many rates that took care of to get it. Unfortunately, it might have only been one. Just you, though. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, so that's the last of those guys. This should be the final phase with the Guardian. He's gonna do blow up stuff, of course. Excuse me, sir. I am very much swinging a weapon at you, and you are very much ignoring me. I mean, it's one thing if you have the shield up like this, then I understand. But if you don't have that shield up, then surely we can still hit you. Such as right now. Okay, don't don't stand there. That'd be that'd be a bad place to stand. Wait it out. Yeah, I know you're gonna try to blast me in the face with the fire. We should put this back on. Probably gonna put one of these things directly on top of us. I'm gonna wait for you to be done with that. And then I'm gonna beat you up. Is he done? He's done. And the door is open. Imagine that. Let's drop a save, like, right now. And maybe actually look at the item that we picked up for all this. Forgotten Vran Sword. That is a steel sword that appears to... Well... Think that is more damage than what we have here on our existing sword. Because remember, the sword that we are currently using has already been upgraded twice with those Yiskith runes, which give 7% increased damage, so... If we were to do some quick mental math, I think we could more definitively say one way or the other as to which one is better. I'm pretty sure this Forgotten Vran Sword is going to be better once you include the damage boost that we could get if we were to use the, the Yizgit runes on the Vran Sword as well. Not to mention, remember we were talking about how the Arame Sword that we picked up recently only has two weapon slot upgrades or two rune slot upgrades, so we're only able to use two Yuzgith runes for a total of 14% increased damage, whereas I see right here, those three circles to the left of the Forgotten Vran Sword suggest that we could upgrade it one more time, so certainly with that, I would think that uh, the Vran Sword would ultimately end up being better in addition to the other bonus stuff. We'd lose bleeding chance, we'd gain plus one vigor. Huh, that'd be nice, I suppose. Freeze, the Kermay Sword doesn't have Vitality Regeneration. If that's during combat, then I'm very interested. Oh, I guess we still have that on the Kermay Sword as well. And the chance for insta-kill is a little bit less, but... Oh, the Bleeding, I think, is from the the Yisketh Runes as well, so we would get that on the Varan Sword too, once we do, presumably, apply those same upgrades. So, yeah, I think it is not immediately an upgrade, but as soon as we do apply those runes, I think it would be. So I think that was... Worthwhile. Let's pick up the other loot, including this wonderful iron ore. Eh, fine. I'll take it. Mostly referring to, you know, these pleasant essences of death. The usual. Okay, now there's stuff in here. Four enemies? Question? Why? Yep. Certainly. Hello, Wraith. I, I, I was wondering something like that. Fortunately, we are back on full HP now. Um, I don't immediately see any more Wraiths popping up, so can we just loot to our heart's content? 250 orns! Magic Rat. Oh, there are more Wraiths, though. I don't know if you just, like... We spawn in this exact spot every 10 seconds or something like that. Uh, that, that is starting to seem like, oh, Ruxa! Something along those lines might be the case. I think the Bruxa are technically stronger. Good. Potentially proceed with a little more caution here. 
make sure that we have these Quins up. Ooh, got a little greedy and wanted to get one hit in there to finish that one off. Both of these should be close, though. Oh, you snuck one in on me. Here, this shield might actually take you out, but okay. That's freaky how you apparently have an eyeball here. Or something that is still maybe a, a mouth? A mouth and eyes. Yeah, you see that? It's a uh, rotated, what is that, like 270 degrees right now? But uh, that is definitely a mouth and eyes. That's more so the correct angle. So, uh, yeah. Lovely. Just lovely. Um, and don't mind me, as I attempt to ignore that deeply disturbing image. Ooh. Oh, there's more of you! Do you actually non-stop spawn? Is that a thing? Do you spawn after we loop each one of these things? Is that possibly the way this works? Ooh, Milk Guardian Falconer is coming. That sounds like that might be good. There's something down here. Oh, what was that? Ooh, Meteorite. Other generally fairly useless crafting materials, but the Meteorite is good. Seems like that's Roughly everything. Oh, I take it back. What about this door? Don't think we've been through this one. It's just a way up. It does have more loot. More of the pretty generic crafting materials, unfortunately. But could this be our way back? Let's save one more time here. This does look very similar to the way we came down here. Will this be the room with the resonating crystals? Oh, no, this is the room where we went through with Cecilia and co. Okay, so we actually uncovered a hidden door that was even lower than that one. Okay, so we've, we've been here before, obviously. I'm mostly trying to see if we missed anything here, but this was a fairly long journey, so I will spare you from that. That is, if I could saw that door a second ago. There we go. There it is. Okay, so let's head back up into town. We'll maybe take a quick peek at the uh, crafting recipe that we picked up and see if those gloves that we can now make are any better than the ones that we are currently using. If so, then we'll check if we can actually make them. Otherwise, I think, as I was saying before, that this is likely... The last thing that we can do before we head off and go back to the, the peace treaty. So, let's take a quick peek. We did get some mutagens as well. That is one other thing that I would like for us to do before we fight the dragon. Maybe we'll save that for another time in the next video. But, um, we have several mutagens at this point. We haven't used any. So, I think that is... I guess, actually, the last thing we could do to upgrade ourselves before that fight, even if it doesn't directly tie to a quest or anything like that. The Forgotten Vran Sword. Oh, we should upgrade this. The crafting recipe, though. Where is that? Not this. We already have it? I think it was... Was it this one? I think it was this. If we compare it to... Oh, and... We have two of them, so yes, my guess is that we have already seen this. Okay. So, less reduction to magic, less maximum load, it's worse than what we're currently using. So, that's fine. In that case, we will not bother to make it. But I think it is worth trying to upgrade this Forgotten Brand Sword because... Although, yes, we obviously won't be using it during the dragon fight, because the dragon will obviously be using a steel or a silver weapon against. 
I'd assume that this could be our our go-to steel weapon for, I mean, however long we have after the dragon fight. I don't know. Um, there may not be much left to do after this, upgrades-wise. This does seem like a pretty dramatic weapon. That uh, might be one of the best ones in the game. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself there. So what we're looking for is more of those guys, the Yisgith runes. So let's actually take note of how much damage this has right now and determine how much of a difference the Yisgith runes make. So we're at 50 to 55. We apply all the runes. Let's see, in total, what that amounts to. Okay, yes, I remember you were doing that last time. You only let me upgrade one rune at a time. I had to move around a little bit before you're like, yes, you are deliberately trying to apply this numerous times in a row. Okay, so 50 to 55 went up to 61 to 67. All right, so let's compare that to the other weapon we were holding on to before, this Kerme. And as I suspected, yes. On the low end, it has four more damage on the high end, just one. But if we look at the other effects as well, we see since we were able to apply one more Yizgith rune, it does have a higher percent chance to inflict bleed, has that freeze chance, vitality is the same, chance to kill, or insta-kill, is tough, but I think that's such a small number already that that's not super important. So I think in this case, we take the damage, we take the little bit of extra bleed and freeze, and that probably kind of sort of makes up for the, the lost insta-kill chance. But I think we do stick with this one. Maybe we'll continue to hold on to Kermay, because it is still a solid weapon. But it does probably mean that Quahir here really doesn't have much use remaining, so maybe we'll stash some of our old stuff over here with the innkeeper, in case we do need a little bit more space. Weight-wise, because I'm assuming, yeah, these weapons are actually pretty darn heavy. So, let's go here. This was, I think, the silver sword we were using before we got a couple more that were more powerful. So, we definitely store this. Here may, maybe we hold on to for the time being, just because it's close. That and our, our current weapon. And this one, I think, is also just... Kind of worse than our existing silver sword, so I think that should be good. It gives us a little bit of wiggle room gear-wise. Oh, we did pick up some extra uh, pants, so we should probably sell those. And that would give us a fair bit more uh, inventory space. That might be why we're relatively close at this point to our maximum amount. Should be able to sell things to you. That we can. So definitely take all these Nilfgaardian pants. They are not necessary. And probably the, the boots and gloves as well, because these are just older versions of things that we used to be wearing, but we have since outclassed with new crafted gear. So, oh, and we got a Wraith Trophy. I'm pretty sure we have one of these in our stash as well at the moment, so we can probably get rid of that. Well, I hesitate a little bit, just in case we haven't stockpiled one just yet. Oh, we saw this earlier, and I was wondering if it was a, uh, one of those lures. It's with the horn. I was like, oh, maybe you call the enemies. No. Doesn't seem like it. It's just jump. Okay. So, I think with that, like I was saying, at this point, at least from a quest standpoint, I should have specified, I think we have done basically everything that we can do to power up and that means that we can apply some mutagens yes but uh other than that we are primed and ready to go for the dragon and i hope that with all these upgrades that we are in a better place to succeed there so hope you guys all enjoyed this video i'll catch you in the next one leave the royal courts